Hello, friend. Hello, friend. That's fine. Maybe I should give you a name. Can you explain hacks like an elevator pitch to us? Sure. A new thing, better than Bitcoin, that its launch is over in 90 days when a giant payout of a large chunk of the supply is paid to the stakers who buy it and lock it up. Ah, uh, yes. Decentralization. Four times the chat, four times the moderating. Ever thought about creating a new DeFi lending contract that runs on Hex? Yes, I have. This stream is making my nine hour layover great. Glad I could help, bro. What's the greatest achievement in Hex so far? Um, I don't know, like for big numbers, the $3 billion of Bitcoin holders that have minted their hex is pretty significant and provable by cryptographic signatures. So it's pretty big. 116 X price in basically four months is pretty big. 100% uptime is big. Uh, I mean, it's just all awesome. Hex.com is awesome. You know, like ton of good stuff. 2000 TPS is awesome. Anonymity is awesome. Like it's way better than it needs to be. Bitcoin doesn't do any of this shit. It went 20 K. So it's like, it's really, really, really good. <clears throat> It can't still be echoing, right? Is it? Let me scroll to the bottom here. I don't think it is echoing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. Let's scroll back up. I can just mute the desktop audio and then even if it should be echoing, it won't be. So smart. Thanks to the free hex and thanks for turning around to Monero a couple of years back. One of the only other honest and functional projects. You're welcome. Richard, will you get three extra shares on a 36, 41 day stake after BP day? Yep. That doesn't go away. Longer pays better. Never goes away. I've been following you for several years. Thank you for all the information hacks. Why candles there? Well, sometimes I light them and they look cool. That's about it. Why candelabra went black to back to red. It looks better. The green look shit. Are we going to hear some crypto talk or just lurk here and watch him fix his PC? Just lurk, bro. You should turn off. Bye bye. Bye buddy. <clears throat> Oh yeah. All the D live mods are gonna have to wait. Richard Hart, not financial advice. Knowing what you know today, would you go all in on hacks, non-biased? Lol, what? I like hex a lot. That's all I'll tell you. A lot, a lot, a lot. <clears throat> Mm 
since you became successful, how many clams have you glazed your knuckles in? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, when was I not successful? Well, anyway, I can't tell you. It's not polite, but a lot. <clears throat> After A is over, does Hex still need to worry about the SEC? I don't know, dude. Better safe than sorry. It's like... Life ain't fair, so you have to be ready for life to be not fair and just play the hardest you can, you know? So... I can live a life without forward-looking statements. I can live with... It's okay. I don't think anyone else is doing what I'm doing regarding this. Like, it's so overkill. It's like my free speech has been demolished. Oh, well. I think things built on Hex are bad for Hex unless they bring new users. Then they could be okay. Depends on what you're building. You know, uh, the ZK roll-up stuff, awesome. Anonymity stuff, awesome. Promise coin, other token, people get racked, it goes to zero crap. I don't like that. Is it possible to do an interview with me? If you have an audience, maybe, but I don't, I don't, haven't heard of you. <clears throat> Mine Xanax. No, I'll never take Xanax. Thoughts on GPT-3, which for you guys that don't know, it's a machine learning thing that came out recently. I think it's pretty cool. I'd love to use it to do things, but since it's gated behind a API that I do not have access to, I don't get to play with it. So. Maybe one day, uh, if I have access to it, I'll do cool stuff with it. Somebody says, I see a lot of cube symbolism. Are you into that stuff? I see a lot of hex symbolism. This ain't cubes, man. It's hexes. Just because when you draw a cube in three dimensions, it tends to look like a hex. That ain't got nothing to do with me. What would be the fallout from consistently high BTC fees? Nothing. The fees are only high because people see more opportunity. When they see less opportunity, the fees will go down. I love Hex. Thanks, Richard, to change my life and the future looks even better. All right. Can you talk about Uniswap 1 and 2, liquidity arbitrage, and other exchange arbitrage? It's kind of a waste of time. So if you get into the arbitrage game, the profit will all disappear. Because anything that's easy to do and doesn't have a moat, people do. And then there's no profitability left in it. So it's not really worth learning about. Yoden says, I have onboarded six normies. Well done, sir. Thoughts on Bigfoot. Is it real? If so, ape, human, or alien? I don't think it's real. But if it was real, maybe uh, a long-lost fork of human. Like the... Gigantopithecus, which is kind of not human, but like an ape, but whatever. I don't know. Who cares? They don't exist. Although your cryptozoology, which is, you know, the study of animals that might exist, but are thought to be extinct. Yeah, it's fun, but I, I don't think that one particularly exists.
there's something about miss saying words that's hilarious. So there's this meme of uh, mashed potatoes pictures, and then it has the title over it, Merch Perturders. It's just funny. Don't know why. And someone had just posted, Hex Batomed de Out. It's just like hilarious. I don't know why. If you want to sell your Bitcoin to buy more Hex, go to Hex.com, click the link on the uh, how to turn your BTC into Ren BTC, and then how to turn your Ren BTC into Hex. Easy. Minimal counterparty risk. No AML, no KYC, no sign up. Do you like being muscled? If that means having muscles, yes. Is there a post AA affiliate program? No, but someone could build it. Right now there's not. Everyone keeps saying I'm nicer. Cool. Great. Well, I mean, it's two people said I'm nicer. One person said I was salty. Can you explain shares and what they might be worth in three years? Sure, shares is really easy. I'll assume you understand Bitcoin mining. So every 10 minutes, something like 6.25 Bitcoin is issued as a block reward. Six, yeah, 6.25. And that 6.25 Bitcoin is given to miners. Okay, but which miners? It's kind of random which miners. But if you have more hash rate, you get more. If you have less hash rate, you get left, less of the total. So if you were 100% of the hash rate, you get 100% of the block rewards. If you're 50% of the hash rate, you get 50% of the block rewards. That's what the term shares means. It's how you divide up a thing. It's just division. That's all it is. So a company is owned by its shareholders and Bitcoin inflation is rewarded to miners by the amount that they hash. And in Hex, all of the profit to the staker class, which is the 3.69% maximum inflation plus early end stake penalty, they get half of that. And emergency, well, emergency end stake is the early end stake. Late end stake penalty, they get half of that as well. So you've got inflation, late end stake, emergency end stake, and big payday. And that's it. That's all there is. Those are the four profit inputs to the staker class. And the big payday input only happens on November 19th to stakes that are open that day. So in general, you have three inputs of profit to the staker class. Inflation, late end stake, and, emer and early emergency end stake. And how do you divide up those profits? By shares. And how do you get shares? You buy them. How do you buy them? By staking hacks. I'm really buying them, but when you stake hex, you make shares. And if you stake your hex for longer, you get more shares. And if you have larger hex, you get more shares. So that's it. The, the profit of the system is given to the people that stake hex. If you stake longer, you get more. If you stake uh, bigger, you get more, but the longer matters a lot more than the bigger. So. <clears throat> I hope that explains shares to you. And then, you know, every day that you have a, sh a stake open, you're, you accrue those profits, and then you can mint all your rewards and your profits at the end of your stake when you, when you end it. Can I think of things built on Hex that would be beneficial? Sure, anything that onboards net more new users, preferably doesn't have any promise bullshit. It's just done and complete and works and has utility and people like it. If it's something like that, cool. Damn few things like that in the crypto world. Damn few. How do you calculate others' penalties into your account? It's automatic. So if you go to go.hex.com and you look at daily payouts or daily data, there's a column for shares and there's a column for day payout total. 
and that's the profit to the staker class that day. And then you can divide that by the shares. And I just published a chart today that shows the profit per share per day has gone up uh, over 4x since HEX started because the payouts keep getting larger because the supply keeps getting larger. So the inflation keeps getting larger, which, you know, basically that ain't going to be happening no more in, in uh, three months. And the number of people that are staking hasn't been large enough to cancel out all of those increases in, in the payouts. So the, the amount that you get paid to be a staker has increased over 4x. So and that's in the last uh, 265 days or something like that. Somebody says my earring is gay. Is it though? Let me meet your girlfriend, dog. Let us experiment on this this idea. <clears throat> Do you like movies about gladiators? Yeah. So far. I mean, I've seen Blood and Sand, which is like a Showtime special, I thought. It was good. Showtime series. More than one series of that. That was nice. Even though the lead actor changed. Died of cancer. Poor guy. And, uh, he's a young dude too. And I also saw, uh, you know, Maximus or De Decimus Aurelius. I don't remember his damn name, but, uh, I guess that movie was just called Gladiator. That was real good. What else? I mean, in general, Gladiator movies are pretty cool, man. What a weird question. By the way, as far as earrings go, left is right and right is wrong, apparently. Used to be if you got an earring on this side and you're a dude, you know, that meant you like dudes. Not sure if that's still coded that way. Do you ever play RuneScape? Nope, I don't play games. How long will bull market last? I wish I knew, dude. I do wish I knew. I don't know. Any cryptids I think are real? I don't know what a cryptid is, but if you mean like a, an animal that people thought was extinct but isn't, there's probably thousands. But how, how cool are they? Who knows? You know. Nice haircut, Rich. Thanks. Ren to BCT to, Ren to BTC to Hex. What is that? Just go go to Hex.com or Pumpamentals.com. Gives you that 10% bonus. Uh, and read the instructions, man. There's instructions there. When did it start? Maybe five hours ago. Oh. Hmm. Why do you say share price only goes up? Because the share price only goes up. It's an analog for compounding interest. So the amount of hex that you have to stake in order to get a share continues to increase. Right now, I believe it's like 1.07. It started out at one. And from the estimates I've seen on hexinfo.io, 
it should be around 1.1 in 90 days. And then it should explode right after the big payday by a lot. Because it's, it's based on making sure that if you ended your stake, you couldn't possibly buy more shares than you originally had. And since there's a giant profit input on November 19th, anyone that ends stake after that profit input will push the share price far higher to make sure that they can't restake and have more shares than they originally had. So you're going to have a, a giant increase in share price after November 19th. Do I ever feel responsible if Hex is failing? Nope. Hex is a complete project. I could die. Hex.com could go down. Go.hex.com could go down. Community's got it covered. Apex.win, hexmob.win, etherscan.io. The code is the code. Code keeps working. So, I mean, I make an occasional YouTube video, but whether Hex wins or loses, it doesn't have anything to do with me. It's a community. And the community makes a whole lot more content than I do. So good job, community. You're doing great. What's the best estimate of a fair market rank? Well, we have that. Um, Nomics.com, N-O-M-I-C-S.com. They show Hex's uh, market cap with the origin address coins in there. And those are about 50% of the supply. And... Uh, if you look on coinpaprika.com, they show the market cap with uh, without the origin coins. So it's, just, it's a little bit lower market cap. Either of those is mathematically fair in my opinion. It's just data, right? Last traded price on the most liquid pair times the total supply or the circulating supply. Well, okay. That's the math, right? So it's just a question of what you consider circulating supply. Wish I could kill this bug. I hope it is dead. I think I got it. Nope. I didn't get it. Fucker. Okay. Ah! What have I done to you, bug? Probably killed a lot of his family members. <clears throat> How do you get the Hex USDC ticker on TradingView? You need to go to hex.vision or rather uniswap.vision. So if you go to uniswap.vision, you can have it. You can also look up the hex BTC pair on hit BTC, which is on TradingView. And then I think the TradingView gives a calculated hex USD pair based on the hex BTC price that it pulls from uh, hit BTC. So personally, I think the uniswap Dot vision is superior because that's a more liquid market. But why is the price going down and why would people buy hex? Bro, did the price go down before? Did it go down, uh, what, 80, 75, 80% before? Yes, it did. And then it went up like 50x from there. So why did that happen? Why wouldn't it happen again? Do you look at the chart? Look at the fucking chart. I don't look at the chart. Like prices go up and down in crypto, man. That's how it is. People are, people are so stupid. Let's talk about liquidity. If you, if you add up all of the order books for Bitcoin and all of the bid support on every order book for Bitcoin, do you think it adds up to 160 billion, which is it's like market cap? Maybe it's 200 billion. No, no, they don't add up to that. 
if you if you add up the order book of anything, do you think that the bid support equals the fucking market cap? The market cap of Apple is a trillion dollars. Do you think the fucking order book for Apple adds up to a trillion dollars, you retarded motherfuckers? Do you think that? No, it doesn't. So I don't know what planet these idiots are from where they think that if, if, for a thing to have liquidity, it needs to like equal to fucking market cap. Idiots. Did you also know that the more liquidity you have, the harder it is to move the price up because you have to sell through more sell resistance? Did you know the liquidity cuts both ways like leverage? And the more liquidity there is, the harder it is for the price to go up and the harder it is for the price to go down. And if you had infinite liquidity on both sides, the price could never fucking move. And so what seems like a reasonable liquidity level is liquidity level similar to everything the fuck else on that trading vector. So if everything else on the trading vector has like five or six million of liquidity, it sure seems like that's fair being that those things on there have market caps that are fucking a hundred times higher or more. So what, what is the liquidity for like ETH USDT on whatever exchange you're looking at, right? And then compare it with Hex. And in Uniswap, Hex's liquidity is very, very strong. It's a number two liquidity on V1 Uniswap. And it was like number five liquidity before the dip. And then after the dip, maybe it's like eight or something or 11 or 12 or something. But then it, apparently the price pumped while we've been on this talk. So maybe it's back on front page or not. Why would, why would it make any sense to desire Hex to have more liquidity than things that have a hundred times higher market caps? doesn't make any sense. So like, I don't get it. Hex is extremely liquid. <clears throat> and if it, it's like, I, I don't get it. <laughs> if you want, if you want Hex to be more liquid, then go to uniswap.exchange, paste the contract address into the little search bar, click pool and go add liquidity. There you go. It can be as liquid as you want to make it. So if you, if you want to see it on Uniswap V1 move from number two to number one, you can throw like 200,000 bucks on there. Go for it. Or if you want to see it uh, do some other magic shit on V2, slapped it, caught it, flew out from the crack of my hand. <laughs> Irritating. So uh, yeah, like if you want hex to be more liquid than it is, and you want to provide resistance that makes it harder for the price to go up because you're adding hex and ETH on both sides, go ahead, do it. But the question is why, why would you do that? Cause you could also just buy hex and then not provide sell resistance. And then the price would go up easier. You could do that too. So being a liquidity provider means you're short volatility. <clears throat> do feel free to go add up the order books of other coins. Let me know how that bid support works out compared to the market cap. Let me know. Does BPD increase your shares? No, it doesn't. It's just paid like normal interest. So BPD is a profit input. Got one. BPD is a profit input um, that is paid uh, by shares just like normal interest is. <clears throat> yeah, if there was no good, if there was no gatekeeping, I think Hex would be doing better price wise because it is amazing, measurably amazing. And it just needs more eyeballs. I don't listen to any podcasts. I mean, Joe Rogan occasionally, I guess. I think, by the way, once again, if everyone you know is talking to you about some coin, how many buyers are left?
that's that if you want to buy tops that seems like a good way to find the top when everyone that was going to buy bought it <clears throat> am i still gonna do calls for bdc and other cryptos maybe i mean i i am more adventurous i'm willing to make statements about btc and eth price guesses like i think eth will continue to outperform bitcoin by a lot How do you think about doing present day value and future date valuation on many stakes across time? Get an Excel spreadsheet out. I'm going to tell you, man. It's all guesses, right? The past we know, future guesses within a range. Sometimes a range helps. This was streamed hours ago? No, it's just lasted hours, bro. What is Hex? Go to Hex.com or PumpMentals.com if you want a bonus. Admire you and your intelligence. Can you explain the relationship to share price and total shares available? You did this before, but I didn't catch it. So share price is only changing when a, a new highest. So when you end your stake, the system wants to make sure that you can't restake and get more shares than what you originally had. So you can never recompound outside the system. You'll always get less. In order to do that, it raises the share price to cancel out any profit you just got. So if you stake and you end your stake and you got a whole ton of profit, the system is going to raise the share price to make sure that you, if you restaked, could not possibly get more shares. So profit inputs to individual stakers raise the share price when those stakers end their stakes. Currently, the share price started at 1.05, went down to 0.62, and then went up to, I'm sorry, that's wrong. That was the profit per share per day. I think the share price started at like one hex per share or something. But I don't remember, it, it, it might use some like inflated, very big number to, to maintain resolution for division because it's, it's using integer math, which is a requisite of, of being an Ethereum thing. Um, the share price started at one. Now it's like 1.07. It's estimated to be 1.1 near the big payday, just before it. This is using the math off of hexinfo.io that charts the share price. So the share price itself has absolutely no relationship to the total number of shares whatsoever. The, uh, the total shares exist based on people staking. So if you stake, you get shares. If you stake longer, you get more shares. That's it. So bigger and if you have 100 hex, and you stake it, you would divide by the share price, which is like 1.07 right now. So you'd get like, you know, 6% less shares or whatever. However, if you had more hex, you'd get more shares. If you staked your hex longer, you'd get more shares. If you staked your hex larger up to 150 million in that particular share, you'd max out the bigger pays better bonus. So you can max out longer pays better with a 3,641 day stake, and you can max out bigger pays better with 150 million hex stake. And if you max them out both at the same time, then you're getting the absolute maximum number of shares that you could at that time. Now, had you done that same thing earlier, you would have got more because the share price would have been lower at that time. So now what good are shares? 
Shares are how all of the profit in the system is divided. It's similar to hash rate in Bitcoin. So if you're a Bitcoin miner, you have more hash rate, you get more of the block rewards. If you're a hex staker and you have more shares, you get more of the early end stake penalties, late end stake penalties, and inflation, and the big payday on November 19th. So it's the shares become more rare than the hex because it costs more and more hex to generate the shares and the price keeps going up. And the price will skyrocket on November 19th after the day ticks over and the first person tries to get out with their uh, their rewards, their profit, that will amplify their earnings. And then those amplified earnings will force the share price to increase. And then anyone that wants to try and have shares after that has to pay a much higher share price. And so in effect, it's how the, the compounding interest is uh, created for the earlier people. So the earlier people's interest in the system is defended from new people by new people always having to pay a higher price. Always. The share price never goes down. It's not possible. It can only go up. I hope that explains it. Are the hex cabs still rolling around London? From what I hear, uh, they'll be out for a year. So. Do we know who tried to pay Andreas 10 BC to talk hex? If, if you, tr Andreas has never, to the best of my knowledge, shilled any altcoin ever, as long as he's been alive. And I don't think he likes me. He's a social justice warrior. I'm the opposite of that. And I don't think he likes hex. So I can't imagine any reasonable person would uh, have made that offer to him. So maybe they did as a joke. Maybe the people were stupid. I don't know, but like you ain't going to get Andreas to review anything. It's just not happening. Like he doesn't do that shit. So, I mean, thanks for the free shout out, but like, it's like half of the free shout outs the hex gets are from people trying to hate on it. So take Andreas, right? Andreas is like, yo, I don't actually know shit about the project, but since I'm too busy with my head up my ass to actually read the fucking code and read the contract, I'll just shit talk it. And so he virtually shit talks it. Why? The code ain't that fucking long. And there's a layman's guide that like walks you through what each part of the code does. Who has that? You ever been to a Bitcoin code review layman's guide? It ain't there. Hex has one. So he should stop being a bitch and read the code like a man. But instead he just acts like a little bitch. So thanks for the free shout out and semi insult, I guess. I hope I get to meet you on the debate stage one day. Like it just the amount of the, these people aren't stupid. Like Andreas is smart, you know, how the fuck do smart people misunderstand this thing when far stupider people get it? I just, they're not putting in their time. They're, they're being intellectually dishonest. They're thinking that them being smart lets them just go on their first gut instinct. If you go on your first gut instinct on Hex, you're going to be wrong because Hex looks like a project that isn't amazing. It looks like some pump and dump thing. Oh, it's hundred X, 200 X. Oh, what the fuck? That's impossible. They talk about price. It's gotta be a scam. And then when you look under the marketing bullshit, you're like, yo, three audits, $3 billion of Bitcoin guys have minted it hundred percent uptime, anonymity transactions per second, sick community, like 4.4 years average, like 4.67 or 4.57 year average stake. You're just like, damn, all these metrics are amazing. Look at, look on Etherscan, see how many holders there are. See how, like go through the, the things that you cannot fake the real things that matter that would make a cryptocurrency better than another cryptocurrency. 
and you'll be like, damn, Hex is amazing. This is all very good stuff. The measurements are all awesome, you know? And they, they don't do that. They just go off their gut instinct. They see 100X and they're like, scam. And then the million other scams that don't write 100X on them, they're like, yep, cool. Rebasing, cool. Retarded, like just unfair, very stupid. Now that serves them in general because a lot of things do suck and their gut reaction would protect them from falling for other suckier things. But in this case, Hex is special and they should have fucking known that because I made it and I'm special and they should respect that. But they don't get it. They don't get it. So they're going to be made to look like fucking idiots as the years go by. As the years go by and Hex continues to kick ass, every one of those naysayers will be known to look like a goddamn retard. And they can apologize then when they cost their audience the gains of a lifetime. It's really that easy. Blows my fucking mind. I don't mind if completely intellectually incapable people don't get it. But if you're otherwise very intelligent and you say things that are blatantly dishonest about Hex, it bothers me greatly. Greatly. Especially when all of the counters to all of that bullshit is written right on the homepage. Literally right on the homepage. Dead center. Dead center. Counter to every fucking piece of FUD garbage these guys say. Who, what crypto website talks about crypto going to zero? Let me give you an example. Some, some engineer at Google today shit talks the advertisement that he saw in The Economist for Hex. Have you ever seen another uh, crypto advertised in The Economist? I haven't. There was one cover for Bitcoin once that I don't think was paid for. But as far as advertisements, I think the only crypto to ever be advertised in The Economist is Hex. This guy decided he was going to shit talk. And guess how he shit talked? 100% retard mode. 100% idiot mode. Right in the fucking ad, it says, prices go up and down often. Past performance is no guarantee of future performance. Your money's at risk. Unregulated uh, product with no investor protections. So what does this dumb fuck put in his tweet? I see something wrong with this advertisement. It says that because the price went up, it's going to keep going up. No, the matter of fact says exactly the opposite of that. It says price performance is no guarantee of future performance right there. So this dumbass, who's very smart, works at Google, says obviously wrong, backwards, retarded shit publicly. Tags economist, tags hex crypto. I like smart people. I like your input. But uh, did you notice that? The disclaimer says the opposite of what you just said. And there's a picture of the price chart, which shows giant dips. Here's a better resolution picture of said chart with dip in it. How could you be more accurate than show the chart of the reality? And when you go to the website and it talks about, yes, crypto can and does go as close to zero as possible in flash crashes. And the most liquid crypto there is Bitcoin has dropped 95%, 86%, 75%, 86%, 75%. No other website talks about that but Hex. No other website is as honest as Hex's fucking website. No one speaks as truthfully to volatility. No one speaks as truthfully to price. Nobody. You go to, he you go to fucking uh, Ethereum's website, it's like price doesn't exist. You go to Bitcoin's website, it's like price doesn't exist. Is that honest? Is that realistic? Is that how most people are going to experience the product as though price did not fucking matter? Or is price actually the most important thing? So Hex is more honest, but these ignorant fucktards who for some reason are very smart elsewhere in life, but when it comes to Hex, just their brains don't engage, I have to deal with this shit. It, it blows my mind. Like, why don't you guys be smart about this too? It's literally on the fucking website and in the fucking disclaimer and in the picture to price chart. Why is your brain making you say stupid, retarded shit that doesn't make any sense? Not sure. Hopefully, maybe, a pivot to uh, lower, you know, 20, 30% APR things per year. Maybe that makes people happier than the truth that the price went up 116x in four months. Apparently people don't like the fucking truth. Fine. Okay. You don't like the truth. We'll, we'll make a fucking less exciting truth for you then. Here, 
use this lens to view the product then. You can use the view of shares and interest instead of mad gains. Fine, let's try it. See how it goes, you know? Like, how, how can these smart people be so stupid? I don't get it. But when, if you get to see me live stream with them, you get to see me educate these motherfuckers and you get to see them fold in front of the better man. So, Andreas, if you're watching, kid, let me teach you about SJW. Let me teach you about cryptocurrency. I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, if you have the balls, which I don't think you do. <clears throat> But what does Hex do? For you, nothing. Stop learning about it. Hit Alt F4. For you, nothing. Go away. We have enough stupid users. Today, enough stupid users required. You don't need to be a user. If only there was some way to figure out what Hex did, like a website or something. Hmm, like, like Hex.com maybe. Fucking video right up top. You click play. So yes, the smart can be stupid, but the stupid can be stupid as well. No, it's not a restream, it's live. It's just long, it's like five or six hours or something. I don't think any decentralized top level domain is actually decentralized at all. So Google can reroute your shit. The DNS servers can reroute your shit. There's you're not actually decentralized. You're just choosing your counterparty risk differently. So now the smart contract can fuck you and the admins can fuck you both. <clears throat> it's usually just the admins. Do not short crypto. If you short crypto, you will get murdered. The math is against you. I've explained this a hundred times. I'll explain it again. If you longed Bitcoin from a dollar to 20K, you made 20,000 X. If you shorted $20,000 of Bitcoin from 20K and you wrote it to zero, you made one X. It's a lot cheaper to play the bottom and go up. When you try and play the top and go down, it costs too much to get in. So your, your 20 grand, buy at a dollar, sell at 20 grand is worth 40 million. Your 20,000 sell, ride it to the bottom is worth 20,000. There's a 20,000 X difference between being long and short there for the same capital at risk. I've explained it a hundred times. No one fucking listens. You'll be the guys that'll end up. Sh I, people like you will try and short hex and get the shit wrecked out of them. I look forward to that day. I wish it was here now. <clears throat> Shorting crypto is fucking suicide. Shorting in general suicide, really which is why there's no short firms that survive and there's a million long firms in legacy markets. Give me a sec. Ah. Thank you for hanging out and talking to the community. We all appreciate you and Hex. Thanks, man. If you, if you guys ever realize the reason that I crush everyone in debates is because I'm just right to start with. So I get to take all the, the good points because being right makes it easy to make good points. The, it's like the, the most useful thing to be in a debate is just right to start with.
Hey Richard, looking good, bro. I followed long before the launch of Hex and unfortunately missed out on the snapshot due to being in a freaking coma. Tell me the best way to make up for that. Well, man, before the stream started, there was an 82% dip on the ETH pair. That's a good dip. Um, yeah, like, if you like Hex, consider buying some. Pumpmentals.com if you want a, a bonus. I would love to debate you. Will you give a rando a no name a shot? Nope. My days of talking to randos are over. If you have an audience, we can chat. If you don't, go build one. Richard Hart, what is the opposite of a social justice guy? Well, a meritocratist, perhaps. An equal opportunity, not equal outcome-ist. Go watch my first two videos on feminism. They're the first two videos I've ever done on YouTube. You'll figure it out. If diversity is power, why are you trying to destroy diversity? Doesn't make any sense. You need things to be different for them to be specialized, for them to have synergy, to get better outcomes, which is why sexual dimorphism exists, which is why men and women have different roles. Guys aren't good at breastfeeding. Women are. Girls aren't good at fighting. Guys are. Girls aren't good at lifting shit. Guys are. But, but, but I know an outlier that proves the rule. So. I'm a fan of what works. Evolutionary biology, evolutionary psychology. I'm not a fan of man's dream fantasy of what they think would work better. And then when they do it, they get opposite results. Like there's something called the welfare paradox where the more freedom you give people, women act more girly and guys act more guy like even though you gave them. So when you remove the like weird constructs and you just let them do what they want to do, guys are more manly and girls are more girly. That's not what they expected. They thought it would be the other way, you know, Oh, we're going to, we're going to get more uh, women firemen and we're going to get more male nurses. And that's not what they got. <clears throat> The only project I'm working now is sitting in my chair. I sit in my chair a lot. Somebody asked if I'm like building some other blockchain things. Like, nope. Let me, th let me think on that. Hmm. I sure would like to see margin trading come out for hacks. God, that would be nice. If only software were easy. Somebody says there's different kinds of smart. Yep, true. How much Hex owns OA? 50%? I think so. Yeah. Richard, I hope life grants you several opportunities to make the world a better place. Your abilities are desperately needed. The bigger, the better, excluding politics, though politics is ruinous. Thanks, man. Well, you know my roadmap. Hex, SciVive, Save Your Assets Fund, Startup Accelerator, Startups in the Space, Regenerative Medicine. That's my roadmap. SciVive's a self-help movement book. What is hex? Is it a cryptocurrency? Yep. It's a nice one. It's a new one. Launch ends in three months. I seem like an evil villain. Thank you. It's funny. Evil villains have maniacal laughs and master plans and exotic furniture. 
maybe they're awesome if they just weren't evil, right? Like good villain or something. Somebody made a good point. Google IT guys are experts at IT. Maybe just send them the code. It's actually a good idea. Should have done that. Why don't you send it to them? Go to twitter.com forward slash Richard Hart win. Click tweets and replies. And then you should find the one that I uh, made to that dude. You can post it. Can't we do the same idea of hacks on BTC? No, you can't. Because you cannot reward anyone except for harming the environment. All rewards in Bitcoin are based on environment harm. How much energy did you waste? That's what proof of work is. It's proof of waste. Right now, I'm coming up with it. POW actually means proof of waste. That's awesome. Right here. August 16th, man. Proof of waste. Love it. Gonna tweet that. I'm sure this will get lots of likes. <laughs> I'm trolling a little bit because Ethereum is also secured by proof of work because it's what we know works already. It's just more efficient. With X being even more efficient on top of that. Oh yeah, so you can't build Hex on BTC because you can only reward people for producing waste. So. You can't reward them for any other type of good thing, like referring people, which X does, or staking and locking up your coins, which X does. Yeah. So Hex just has a better design. Hexologist says, I wanted to talk to Richard Hart, so I built an audience. Well done, dude. You did good. Hexologist is our premier single, every single night, Hex YouTube dude. He's great. I love watching him. He's hilarious. Hex.doctor is his referral link. And uh, you can see him on DLive forward slash Hexologist, DLive.tv. And uh, I think he streams on Twitch too. But DLive is probably the best spot. Somebody asked how a game built on Hex is different than Hex. They they take away 10% of your money to get in. And I think they take away 10 to get out too. So they're called Hourglass Games. The difference between Hex and Hourglass Games is cryptocurrencies tend to outlast games because people get bored of games. So not being a game let's Bitcoin stick around a lot longer. Not being a game, let's hex stick around a lot longer. People are designed to get bored of games. So if you're playing a game, you're likely gonna run out of steam at some point. So it's, you know, and do you wanna, if you stake your hex, how much hex do you lose up front? Nothing, you start gaining hex instantly. Like you're being rewarded for, you know, if you play some game, they hit you to get in and hit you to get out, you're down 20% of paper the instant you decide to play. So that doesn't sound great. You're taking a bet on like, what is the promotion ability of the guy that built this shit? And then 
what's the likelihood he's going to start some other game that sucks out all the capital from that same user base and then another game and then another game and then another game. And it's just, it hasn't worked out for it's, it's net loss basically, in my opinion, it doesn't have utility outside of the shifting of money from one person to another person with like, I'm not a fucking fan. Never, never bought an hourglass game in my life. Never planned to. I'm a guy that advertises not playing video games, not gambling, not playing poker, not trading. That's what I advertise. Shit that people tend to not get right. Like, if you live by those principles, you're much less likely to get wrecked. Wrecked means, like, lose a lot of money and feel really bad. So, you know, you, 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 you break those principles, you're likely to get wrecked. And you'd have to ignore thousands of other people that got wrecked before you and just pretend they didn't exist. <clears throat> Can you talk about staking 1 to 10 versus 1 to 15 years? If you stake 15 years, you don't need to restake on year 10. So if you have a 10-year stake, you have to end your stake at year 10 and then restake at a higher share price. And unless you're the one that set that share price, you could end up with a lot less shares. Whereas if you had a 15-year stake, you've already got the most shares you could possibly get. You can only ever have less shares every time you end your stake with the same energy. Like the same, I put money in, I run my stake, I end it, I get output, I put that output back in. You will always get less shares every single time. The system, unless you set the all-time high price and then you break even. But you start missing a day because when you restake it, it, stakes only start when the day turns over and you already missed the day turning over. So like you will always have less hex profit by playing the end your stake game. Always. The system is designed and verified to perform that way. You can read the economics audit, which verifies that function. It's on the homepage. Any thoughts on mathematical metaphysics? Nope. I don't even know what that shit is, dude. Sounds new age to me. Yeah, that's stupid. Because physics, we already have math and physics. I don't, I don't think mathematical metaphysics. This is going to be some fake bullshit, dude. Uh, huh. No, there's like Stanford papers on it. So I guess it's not metaphysical bullshit branch of philosophy, implication of mathematics. Yeah, it seems all right. Cool. Philosophy in general is a failed endeavor, bro. Go see how it worked out for all the other philosophers. Building shit is win. Building is win. Philosophy, not win. Didn't work out for any other philosophers. I mean, I guess it worked out for like Voltaire and Balthazar Gratian, that was a Jesuit priest, but like in general, philosophy is not win. Now, apparently I'm a philosopher because I wrote my own book on it. But, you know, go read my book. See how you like it. Stuff you can use instead of stuff you can bullshit about and not use. Somebody asked, what are kidney stones? Google it, bro. Google. Best weekend gift is your live stream, sir. Glad I can help, man. Richard, I believe a cleaner point of sale style website with bullet points to explain all the variable points, simple one page design, easier onboarding. Yeah, I mean, look, I'd like the website to look like a, a super professional financial site. So that's kind of the goal. Takes time.
stomach's growling because I'm hungry. Might go eat in a bit. I bet you could master comedy, Richard. Would you try? Thanks, bro. I probably could make a funny set, but that's not what I want to do with the world. I'll make you laugh by accident. I'm not spending weeks figuring out ways to make you guys laugh. That's already taken care of. I need to do the things that aren't taken care of. Is your chat dedicated to hex merchandise ideas? I don't think so. To talk about it in the main chat. If it gets busy enough, you know, maybe I'll make another one. Thank you for creating crypto that isn't scamming people. Pleasure. Why is it waste? Can you elaborate? If it wasn't waste, it wouldn't work. So the only reason proof of work works is because it's wasteful. You can go on Wikipedia and look up social signaling and then see why they use it in the animal kingdom. It's, it's like the only way that you can trust that someone's communicating truthfully is there's a cost to the communication. Otherwise they could broadcast a bunch of mistruths that who cares? No cost to them, right? So it's wasteful by design. <clears throat> if it wasn't wasteful, it wouldn't work. So I'm making fun of it by saying proof of waste, but that's not a bug. It's a feature, but it'll still piss people off and let them go get pissed on Twitter. Give them something to talk about. It's a good saying. Cause it's accurate. It is literally just more accurate. It, it is better for people to understand that it's proof of waste and it's supposed to be wasteful. And if you could do it without the waste, it would be great. Yeah, I answered the ETH fee thing already. Can you go into 2017, some of the various direct ICOs? Yes, all of them, except for a couple. <laughs> all of them, except for a couple. <laughs> like. I, my thing is, I don't want people to consume their consciousness with things that suck. I want them to focus on hacks, focus on the big payday, focus on your strategies, focus on onboarding users, focus on your referral link. Those things I believe are wholesome. Thinking about the million and one ways that people got wrecked, it's just going to waste your damn time. So don't do those things. You know, I can speak to you generally. Don't put money into people's promises. Don't you'll lose that shit. They break their promises. And even if they don't, reality breaks the promise for them because software is hard. <clears throat> if I make a better site than hex.com, will you upload it? Yes. T.me forward slash Richard Hart. Do it. I'm ready. I know the site can be better. And I know there's people out there that can do it. Can you have several stakes at the same time? Sure. Lots and lots. Somebody says supply and asset to Uniswap is short. No, it's not because you can only add to both sides at the same time. So you can only add liquidity to Uniswap if you put bid support and resistance at the same time at the same level. Thus, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But if you want to read and learn about Uniswap, you can go to t.me forward slash hex crypto and type exclamation mark uni, UNI, and it's going to post you four links. Easy mode, harder mode, harder mode, and fucking really hard mode. And you can learn on down the way. <clears throat> You like Peterson? Peterson's right about most things. He's right. He's wrong about Christianity being the, the set that his beliefs on Christianity are incorrect. But almost everything else is good. If I, 
Who would win in a shouting match, me versus Max Kaiser? I can play like Max does and, and go over the top. I just usually don't. It's fun. I mean, you can you can do it, but it's like I I can be that way. It, it is fun. Maybe one day we'll do it for fun, but he has to stop being a maxi pad. <clears throat> you breaking a streaming record today? Probably not, because I'm hungry and gonna go eat in a bit. And I think my record was like eight hours, and this is only like five or six something. So. How long has it been? Eh, who knows? I don't think I'll do eight hours. Somebody says their 15K turned into 800K. Congrats, bro. Why is Hextax down? Technical reasons, dude. It's just not worth, like, just go paste the contract address and you know, swap that exchange. It's not worth fighting right now. How many Vitalics can I bench press? Probably a few. It's <laughs> pretty funny. You should split test the website. Yeah. A lot of things should happen, huh? <laughs> How is the hex cult going? Well, we don't have many songs yet. We only have like a few songs. So we do need more songs for the cult to like chant and whatnot. Um, I guess we have a logo. We don't have any worship centers. We don't really have anything to worship either. Worship the code? Same shit. Me? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, cult needs work, bro. If you want to help out, maybe uh, submit some materials to Hex Memes. Hexmemes.reddit.com, t.me forward slash Hex Memes. Appreciate you looking out. What does a worst case scenario for Hex look like to you? Well, imagine if it became the world reserve currency and the people that held it right now became the new overlords that controlled all the other people. Man, that'd be rough. Thanks for that question, concerned person. <clears throat> You guys that didn't get the joke there, I'm making fun of concerned trolls. And reframing their question to our advantage. As any good linguist would. So every next, like every concern troll will get inverted and turned into a benefit and then blocked. If you want to message me, t.me forward slash Richard Hart. Do I feel the hex doesn't clean up the act? They'd onboard more stakers. I think their act is pretty good. Just need more marketing, you know, like outbound messaging. <clears throat> what are my opinions on gold and mining? It doesn't really make the world a better place. It's nice that it doesn't inflate at the same rate that the dollar does, but that's, you know, there's a lot of things that have that quality and have outperformed gold 
vastly. The S and P 500 is ass beaten gold for a very long time. And I believe it still is. Do I think the Christian God is a metaphor for abstract thinking? No. <laughs> Just read the book. What do I think about the new Mooney swap? Probably works fine. Um, I, I hope that it works better than Uniswap, which it might. So, well done. Read the audit. I haven't read it. Um, if the audit looks good, should be good to go. We'll see how fast I'm catching up with chat. Thoughts on stem cell injections? Might work. Depends on where you're putting them and what kind of cells they are. And, you know, what's my secret to not blinking? Just being, I don't know, not tired, tired, tired. Coffee plus tired. I don't know, man. Sometimes I don't blink, sometimes I do. Today's like a not blinking day. You should see my original YouTube videos. Never blinked. Never. I think I think I blink less when I don't have audio input. When it's just like me listening to myself. If I had headphones on, I was talking to somebody, I think I'd blink more. <clears throat> Bruh, testimonial. This is the most money I've made in my life. I plan to move in a few weeks. Congrats, man. Glad to hear that. I drink coffee occasionally, very occasionally. So my, my original problem with coffee was that it was giving me existential dread. But now that I'm like using my brain differently, and I'm just not doing that to myself anymore, like being too hard on myself and then becoming less productive because of it. Now that I've like stopped pressing my own foot on my own throat so hard to try and like get performance through like agony, you just get more done cheerfully. And then I just, you know, can drink less and have an okay relationship with it. And it's not, you know, like a, it'd be like maybe one every couple of days or something. It's not like eight a day. And so I'm having an okay relationship with it. <clears throat> but like, I don't, I definitely don't see how increasing my coffee intake would be any useful. And I wouldn't mind if I didn't drink it at all. It's just, you know, if you want a little energy boost, you have a little bit and that's about it. I just use it as a drug basically. Like before this stream, I had a double espresso. All right, guys, I'm going to go eat something. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to hit me with any, like, awesome question that might convince me to stay on another couple of minutes. Unlikely you're going to hit one. Um, Hex.com. Amazing. Launches over in 90 days, 96 days, something like that. On November 19th, price went up 116x. Dropped, like, 60% uh, versus the dollar and 82% versus ETH before the stream. Apparently the price has gone up since the stream. I haven't looked. Uh, I love Hex. I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it changed the world. Could be the thing that actually makes crypto mainstream. It actually does the things that matter right. Um, so I'm very, very excited about it. And the state of Hex has gotten better and better and better as time has gone on. Got anonymity, we got throughput, we got hex.com, people, somebody out there, it's advertising, it's very nice of them. Uh, like, it's doing all the things it needs to do very well. 
the opportunity from all the gatekeepers is that when they finally stop being dicks and stop being unfair to hex, that it could open up a whole new world of very low hanging fruit, easy to onboard eyeballs with crypto that's very easily to turn into hex. I see that as an opportunity. And I see this experiment with, you know, different pitches is, is an other opportunity, right? So we got the mad gains guys, we got that lens in there. They see the project through that lens. Well, let's see it through the other lenses that it has, which are, uh, shares and annual return, you know, passive income kind of thing. I think they're both great, uh, pitches and they probably appeal to different people. So. I think everyone should in their language, try and emphasize the other one because they're both true and both awesome. What else? Pumpmentals.com if you want 10% bonus, but other referral links work as well. Like hex.doctor, hex.live has one, hexinfo.io has one, hex-data.com has one. Any of these referral links will give you the same benefits. Um, what else? Hex.vision has one as well. And he has great charts at uniswap.division. Let me think. T.me forward slash Sivive if you want to read the the pre-production, you know, kind of free version of uh, of Sivive. The edited one ain't gonna be free. It's sitting in my mailbox. I should actually read it. I haven't had time. What else? Free coins, free books, free chat. So t.me forward slash hex crypto, over 20,000 people in there. Twitter.com forward slash Richard Hart win. I think it's like 65K. YouTube.com forward slash Richard Hart. It's like 45K, but I'm usually broadcasting on SciVive. So YouTube.com forward slash SciVive. I'm also on Twitch, I'm also on Periscope, I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on D Live. What else? Is that it? I think that might be it. Yeah. So I'm going to go get something to eat. Let me check your chat here. Hexologist Hex Stream starts in 20 minutes. You guys should definitely watch that. He's amazing dlive.com forward slash hexologist d l i v e actually it's that tv d l i v e dot tv forward slash hexologist his stream is awesome if you use a ledger you can use hard hex dot x y z it's built for ledger by a community member Yeah, that's it. It's good talking to you guys. I, uh, I hope that we all get to go to the moon together. It's a pleasure, guys. The invention of cryptocurrencies brought us alternatives to the traditional financial system. HEX is the next step in that evolution, designed to replace high-interest time deposit savings accounts. Stake your HEX coins for a fixed time period, and once your stake expires, HEX pays you the interest you're owed. The longer lockdown period you choose, the higher interest rate you receive. HEX is a smart contract built on top of the Ethereum network, providing you trustless, decentralized interest without any banking fees or middlemen. Bitcoin miners generate about 650,000 coins a year in total. They have to sell most of it to cover their high electricity costs, forcing down the price of Bitcoin on the market. Rather than paying miners, HEX pays the stakers instead, who have no mining costs pushing down the price of HEX. And the more people stake their coins, the less will be available on the market for buyers, which in turn increases the price of HEX. However, if less people stake, then the contract automatically increases the amount of interest earned by the remaining stakers. This balance ensures that it's always beneficial to be a staker. HEX is free for Bitcoin holders, if you held Bitcoin during the snapshot on the 2nd of December 2019, then you can free claim your HEX during the launch phase, which lasts for a year. During this period, you can also transform Ethereum into HEX. And of course, you can already buy HEX on a growing number of exchanges. 
If you are a Bitcoin holder, why not hold your investment in an asset that actually rewards you for holding? 